Well, shit. Oh, so for... Come on, Carter. Would you relax. Oh, no, that's a sniper rifle. Yep, I want that. Acquired standard U.S. military model 1903 A4 high-powered uh, bolt action sniper rifle. Yeah. So I don't want to say the rest. Whoa. Okay. Yeah. Ooh, fire grenades. Yes, please. Thank you. Okay, that's full. I don't want the shotgun. Um, did I radio in here? Or up there? Hey, it's kind of nice looking. They really want you to use the sniper rifle. Where do you radio in at? Am I just dumb? Um, where? Damn it! If I knew how to use the radio, I would. Or that's it over there, isn't it? Yeah. I'm a dummy. Falk, Agent Weaver, anyone? Copy, Agent Carter. Sky Ranger One reads you. I've got Falk and Weaver, and I am inbound oh, to your location. Oh shit! <sighs> Guys, uh, you need to get into cover now. Take cover there. Moving, cover me. You got it. I don't like the look of that bomb up there. Would you rather head back to the base? Should be fine, as long as we don't start any tests. Right? Here they come! Engage it! Damn, they're dug in! Contact. Okay. Go ahead and do that. Hit it hard! Put a laser turret. Uh, yep. We need extra firepower. They're down below! Let us know where you're you fine where you are. Bam! God, that fucking turret does work! What the hell are you doing? It's like calling them in. Oh hell, oh hell. Good night, oh my god. Come on, reload. Oh, that's not good. Where is he? There you go. Where's Falk? Can you see him? Carter, what? Heads up! Come on, Falk! Come on! Oh, fuck me! It's incoming! Okay, do your thing. Finish fuck, it's shielded. Hold on, uh, no, we're good, we're good. Just get a turret down there. Set up a gun. Can I take these things out? Don't know. Wait, throw it! Yeah, there you go. Fuck you, old bastard. Hey, I took it out. I, I I don't know. Maybe they're bad. Maybe they're not. Go away. Die. There we go. Holy shit. Where? It's like there he is. Oh, that's ours. Whoops. Yeah, we got him. Sorry. Are we good? Carter. We're seeing enemy forces Great. inbound to you. These fuckers aren't gonna stop. Sky Ranger, how fast can you clear the test site's blast radius? Blast radius? Carter, what are you... I'm gonna start the test sequence. It's the only way to keep them from following us. And get some payback. Carter. He's right, sir. Sky Ranger's built for speed, but it's no match for those outsider ships. All right. Do it. Good. Let's give those bastards something to remember. Okay. I think it's this, right? Yep. Ooh. Oh, shit. Listen, we're not safe and we're sure as hell not done fighting. Do exactly what I say, 
and we'll get through this. Yes, sir. We're with you, Agent Carter. In the cover. Yeah, yeah, I know, I know, I know this. Okay, you need to. Fuck, can you not? Shit. Right, go ahead and do it there. We need extra. Right, you go. Hit it hard. There it is. Just gotta hold it, guys. Gotta hold it. I'm here. Close, aren't you? We're coming in. Get on board. Hey, guys, be here by a drone. Shoot him. Orders. There. God damn it. They're here, man. Go. Okay, cool. Well, I gotta say, that whole thing escalated pretty fucking quick. Oh, okay, mission results, total time, 43 minutes, 52 seconds. Aerial photography of the groom range facility indicates almost total destruction due to the combined effects of the Spartan attack from unknown forces and the unscheduled detonation of classified prototype ordnance. Uh, efforts to recover technology or personnel are not advised as, as it is likely the enemy opposition has remained on site. The survivors of this attack exfiltrated to an undisclosed location in order to evaluate counterattack options. Squad status, um, I'm just a rank one, and they're five. Damn it! Hmm. Acquired tech, outsider activity, killed 36 sectoids, two gun turrets, 29 outsiders, and a couple drones. Not nice. 69 kills in total. Works for me. I like the game a lot so far. This is pretty good. It, it's a lot, I don't know, since it's, you know, third person action, one, it, it's a lot faster, so you don't really have that, you know, turn or tactical advantage that you do in the uh, other XCOM games. In visual range now, sir. Preparing final approach. America! Control, this is Sky Ranger 1 requesting permission to land. Copy, Sky Ranger. Permission granted. You are cleared for pad number 3. Gonna take more than a hole in the ground to beat those things. Just admit it. Fine, Congrats. I'm impressed. <laughs> so, what is the Bureau anyway? Bureau of Operations and Command. Never heard of it. <laughs> we were never meant to. I love that stuff. This base wasn't meant to be operational for another year. We've called in every operative we had earmarked for the project, but, well, let's just say that we'll be a bit understaffed. Director Falk, sir. Welcome back. These two are Gets with me. camera control here. That's about it, really. At least this location is secure. And I intend for it to stay that way. I'll be giving a report to all staff at 0300. Report to the operations room at that time. I have a lot to prepare, Carter. Agent Weaver will show you around. I'm coming. Down here, Calm down. Carter. Come on. When Ivan put Sputnik up, the brass got scared. This project became top priority. Off the books, of course. That did it. Hold it there. Uh, don't move it. All right, people. Show's over. Back to work. Carter, this is Nico De Silva, senior field agent. Nico, you'll be sharing your workspace with Agent Carter. Welcome to the Thank most you. advanced facility on Earth. Falk wants him up and running ASAP. Time is of the essence. Straight hey, you're supposed to show me around. Well, come on. You oh, show me right shit. Right here. That weaver is one tough broad. So, this is us. This is my desk here. Yours is over there. Get comfortable, Will. 
Things as they are. This is both your office and your quarters. Uh, do you mind if I call you Will? Yes, I do mind. Well, I'm not calling you Agent Carter. I might be military, but I'm not that formal. I prefer William. Yeah, well, I prefer Nico, even if my mother insists on calling me Nicholas. There are some things that are just beyond our control. I can see we'll be fast friends, you and I. Glad to hear it. My supply of friends got cut a bit short lately. That all, De Silva? Ah, for now, sure. You have any questions, just ask. And one more thing. Yeah? The old man, Director Falk. He's a hard man to impress, but you managed it. Not what I expected after reading your file. <laughs> Only What's wrong with my file? Had all day. How many people around here know my history? We all know each other. Don't worry, you'll get to read up on us too. The old man thinks that the more attached we are to one another, the better we'll be in the field. The Bureau might be an adjustment for you. We work in teams here. Seems like you're more accustomed to operating alone. Yeah, well, I'm also accustomed to the enemy being human. An attack like this, it's gonna mean a lot of adjustment for everybody. I'm a different man today than I was yesterday. You know? All right. <laughs> Ain't that the truth. Where were you this morning? Did you get caught in... in any of this? No. I was out gathering intel on a weather anomaly way out in the boondocks. Something was interfering with television and radio signals. Everything except the heavy-duty military gear. Since the attack, it's gone global. They shut down our communication just before the attack. Keep us from coordinating. Smart. Sure, but there's one way it helped us. Can you imagine the panic if the public found yeah. out about an alien attack? You seem like you know your way around this place. I don't typically work out of this facility. Hell, no one really did until today. I'm with the NSA, but my post for the past few months has been with a small team that reports to Director Falk. Who else is on this team? It was supposed to be kept small until it was needed. Now, people who were pre-flagged for recruitment are coming in. Well, the ones that are still alive. People were pre-selected? From where? From the military, the clandestine service, DIA, even some civvies. No one knew that they were selected until they got the call. As of this morning, Valk activated the project and sent that call out. And before today? For the last few years, it's just been a couple dozen specialists. But now, we've got a lot of new right. squaddies to bring up to speed. I need to get myself oriented. Let's talk later. Sure thing, Will. Good to have you on board. Sounds like the director's about to start. No! Come on, Ooh. let's get the good seats. My profile. All right, name William James Carter, born November 4th, 1920 in Tulsa, uh, God, uh, o Oklahoma, maybe, to Beryl and Jeremiah Carter, uh, education, BS engineering, uh, bachelor degree, maybe, uh, Indiana University, marital status, widowed, oh dear, family, uh, Beryl Carter, Nee Douglas, mother, deceased, 1952, uh, Jeremiah Carter, my father, died in 1959. Julia Carter, knee Crenshaw, wife, died 1959 as well. Oh, okay, so it was my son that I was looking at a picture of before. Richard Carter's son died 1959. Okay, so that's way too uh, coincidental for it to be a coincidence. So something happened, maybe a car crash. It's kind of the usual. Uh, professional record, William Carr joined the Army December 17th, 1941. Wow, that's right in the midst of uh, Pearl Harbor. Leaving college to enlist shortly after the attack of Pearl Harbor, if Shark would read a little further. He saw action in the Pacific Theater and earned the rank of Master Sergeant with commendations for his service in the Bur Burma campaign. I almost said Bermuda Triangle. Uh, his service ended on October 25th, 1945, after which he returned to college on the GI Bill. Shortly after graduating, the CIA recruited Carter in 1940 as field operative. His quick thinking and bravery uh, served him well, and he rose through the ranks, earning personal commendations from both Director Hoover and President Truman. He excelled at, he, I'm sorry, he excelled at deep cover assignments, serving for weeks or months at a time in, in Indochina and the USSR. Uh, 1959, during a deep cover assignment in Laos, or Laos, a fire at his fa uh, here we go. A fire at his family home in Arlington killed his father, wife, and son. However, due to the communication blackout of his mission, Carter did not learn of the tragedy until he returned in 1960. Shit, that really sucks. 